Hey, and there she is. <laughs> Mountains called? Ah, Valle de Peñales. So, as you can see, we're having a nice breakfast with fruits, egg, delicious coffee. We're staying in a Casa Particular. It's called Casa Onassis. So, yesterday we went on a horse. Uh, there he is, the boss. Cuidado, Coco. Cuidado. El jefe. <laughs> Hola. And uh, where are we going today? Uh, like we're heading off within, I think, 10 or 20 minutes to the beach, which is 60 kilometers from here. It's more or less one and a half hour driving from here. And it should be a nice beach. Look at this view, guys. So, we're gonna finish breakfast. See you around. So guys, we arrived at the beach from Benales. It was a one hour and forty minutes drive. The roads were terrible, uh, but as far as we can see right now, it was all worth it because the beach is incredible. The water, the water is it's, it's amazing. <laughs> We're in a, at a beach restaurant do you like your food? I don't know yet. It doesn't seem very special, but...
give you a recap of our three nights in Vinales. Uh, first afternoon when we arrived, we came by Colectivo, two hours drive. We stopped somewhere 30 minutes before we would arrive in Vinales. We got a little tour of uh, cigar plantage or fabric. We got a free coffee, delicious coffee. And then we arrived here in our Casa Particular. The host uh, helped us a lot with planning the tours and everything. And he brought us the first afternoon right away to have lunch in El Campesino. With a lovely view over the Valle de Viñales. And after that, they took us to a horse uh, ride. And um, we paid five cook per hour per person to do the tour, which was four hours, which included um, cigar uh, plantage, uh, a ride on the horses, we stopped at a rum fabric, they explained us everything, and we had a very pretty view for like half hour to enjoy the sunset. After like all these tours, you get the opportunity to, to, to buy them? To buy some cigars of course there are difference in cigars and there are different prices uh, which is a normal price to buy a cigar is around four cook uh, for one cigar for one each the second day uh, first of all we woke up get some breakfast and with this view with this view <laughs> of course <laughs> yeah the, the view is i mean the nature in general it's it's amazing people here are so friendly yeah the cuban people they're so nice everyone says greets you hola hola oh. ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Oh, a control. <laughs> and they want to help you of course they also want to sell you tours but that's it's normal job. but they yeah. don't rip you off in mañanas they, they give you the reasonable prices that are in Lonely Planet and everything, so it's good. If you, be, before you, you, you buy things, if you know you want to buy cigars before you go to Cuba, you know you want to buy like hats or other Cuban uh, souvenirs, I think it's better to buy them in Peñales than in Havana, because Havana is more touristic, uh, prices are way more expensive than, than here in Peñales. Uh, so, if you're planning to buy things, it doesn't quite matter what it is. Uh, just buy it here. It's you're gonna. I think you're gonna save a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. the second day we. Day. <laughs> it's quite windy. It's yes. quite windy. So the second day they picked us up with a colectivo which means you share a taxi with other people. We paid 10 cook per person one way. So he waited for us at the beach. We went to Playa Cayo Putillas. And don't rent a car because no. the roads are horrible. I mean, if you say the word terrible, it's... It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We've never seen it before. Yeah. yeah. See? See? Ah, vale. Okay, so, so sorry for that. The owner of the house was telling us something, uh, but okay, it's it's rolling. Yeah. <laughs> so the beach is not that far away, but as the road is horrible, it took us like one hour and forty-five minutes. One hour and forty-five minutes. Yeah. Because you can drive fast, and we the whole day there. He waited for us, the driver, and then he took us back around four with the other people as well. Now we go back to Casa Particular. It's a really nice beach. It's quite touristy though, but... It has some seaweed which is laying on the beach, but it wasn't any... But the, the water is super oh. clear and slow. It was warm. Very, very nice. <laughs> Last night we went to a tapas restaurant, which is which was called uh, Three Jotas, Three Jays, and and 
I have to say it was really good. And the food was good, the prices were good, the surface was good. After we ate there, uh, we just we just went home. Um, we were exhausted. We were exhausted, exactly. Went home, get some sleep, get some rest, because like today or last day, we had to pack our stuff, uh, get one more time to the center. And we, we just uh, searched for Wi-Fi, because uh, here in the center, you can just use Wi-Fi in restaurants. You just ask them if you have Wi-Fi. Without a car, without a tarjeta, and some of them they do have it. So now we're just gonna finish our stay in Minales. Yeah. We're gonna finish up with some lunch in the center and then we take the bus back to yeah. Havana. So yeah. see you in Havana! See you in Havana! So guys, this is our last morning in Vignale and we're heading off to Havana around 2 o'clock with a bus which takes us to Havana within 3.5 hours and we're gonna spend our last hours here, get some food, get some Cuban coffee and go to the bus and... One tip, you should book Biazul online before, like 7 days beforehand, yeah. otherwise it's a complete thing. The system. Sold out. Yeah. So that's what we did when we were planning the trip, and it's around twelve dollars per person. Yeah. So it's quite cheap. It's cheaper for than one way. Eh? Yeah, one it's way. one way. Yeah, it's one way. Don't forget. And a collectivo from Havana to Benales. Double. It's, it cost us twenty five. Twenty five one way. Twenty five euros per one person, way. One way. But, but it's quicker. It so is faster, exactly. It's like two hours and my bus is three hours. Yeah. So, wow. let's see how the bus ride is. Let's enjoy our last day here and enjoy the, well, these great views of the nature, which are amazing here. Well, see you in Havana. Ciao. <laughs> Hey, little guy! <laughs>